Okay, so when it comes to revision and editing, again, there is a difference. Editing is when we look at what we've written and we are trying to make sure the punctuation is right, the spelling is right, the grammar is right. I want you to try not to do that first. I want you to, to wait until after you've done revision. So when it, we're doing revision, we're looking at the thing that we've completed, okay? You've got your first draft, third draft, whatever draft. Basically, it's still your rough draft. You haven't handed it in yet. So you're looking at it and what you're gonna do is be honest with yourself. Is this essay accomplishing the goals of the assignment? And can I do it any better, okay? And the answer is generally yes, okay? Don't give yourself the cop out where it's like, oh, you can't do any better. Most of the time, we sell ourselves short and we just get lazy and we're like, well, it's done, I'm just gonna hand it in. And I understand that, I totally get just wanting to be done with something. But remember, you only get to hand it in one time. And this class is just a larger, you know, I guess it's a smaller version of life in that later on when you send something to someone, you're not gonna have a teacher who's gonna mark things up for you. You're gonna send something to someone like an email or some kind of a letter. And if it's awful, you know, you only get to send it once. And there's, there's gonna be, um, you know, who maybe it's a, it's a potential employer or someone you're doing business with. And I'm sorry to say it, but people do judge other people for things that it's like, well, I can't understand what the person is trying to say. This person just, you know, I, I don't get it. So we need to practice revision now while you're in a class, while really the stakes are very low. And the only, the only problem that could happen is a, a bad grade. The cool thing is, if you practice revision, you're probably gonna get a better grade because what you're doing is you're, you're being honest with yourself and you're saying, okay, can I make this clearer? Can I make this more entertaining, in this case with essay one? Can I make, you know, what can I change about this essay as a whole or in paragraph forms or something to make it clearer and more understandable to my audience? So think back to your audience as well. Once you've gotten that done, once you've really made it so that, okay, the introduction is solid, it's starting from a broad concept, I'm not telling my story in my introduction, I'm just introducing the idea or the thesis statement, I'm just introducing that, hey, we learn lessons in life, great, that's all I'm doing in the introduction, then I have a thesis statement and it's a straightforward statement, then I have my body paragraphs and they're all doing what they're supposed to do. Then I have my conclusion and it's not adding any new topics, it's just reviewing what I said in my essay. Awesome, all those things are in the places where they need to be. Once you're at that place, then you can say, all right, so now I need to go back and I need to make sure the grammar is right. I need to make sure that my punctuation is on point. I need to make sure all of those things that are just editing, then that's whenever I go back and I look for typos and all those kind of mistakes. Okay, so that's the order that we want to go in. There's nothing worse than having perfect grammar on something and then say, man, I spent all that time and I, I'm going to just need to rewrite this whole paragraph. Okay, so, so get the content before you get things grammatically correct and things like that. Make sure the content is there, then polish it up with editing. Okay, guys, we're getting close to the end of this, this essay. You can do it. Get to it.